Hiya folks, yeah, uh, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you my dreaded Volkswagen oil slick. Um, yeah, it's the wife's car, Volkswagen Beetle, it's 19 TDA, and point the camera down, you can see the drips right in there. I have got an oil dish, no drum. Underneath, I've caught the oil, the rest of the oil's drained out of the car. But the sump's broken due to the fact probably it could be speed bumps, speed ramps, or whatever you want to call them. They're these are things that the council and the government has added to the roads to slow traffic up in built up areas. Uh, and unfortunately, the beetle sits quite low to the road. We'll get in underneath and have a wee quick look. Now, I have the sump plug removed, the rest of the oil strained. I don't know if you can really get in here, you can see the crack has went up round here. Actually, the car I think has had a drive here and the pressure going up has split the sump in around here. Usually you get them broke from the underside, but not this time. So we're going to remove all these bolts right around both sides, quite a few. Uh, we're going to remove the cable from the, I think that's a low level switch and the sump is also joined around there's the gearbox, one, two, three, I think there's three bolts around the edge of the box and once we get these all removed we'll, we'll drop the sump down and we'll get another look at it but what I need, you can put an allen key up into the middle of these or a 10mm socket. We'll need an allen key to access this one. I don't know what you see these in here. There's two hidden up in here. It's quite difficult to get at. So we're going to need a swivel head allen key to go up in here to access two screws. But we'll show you that in a minute or two. Okay, I have the sump off, bolts and all's out. And we'll just turn her up on our side here just to have a wee look at the damage. Hard to believe, it's not a lot. I'll try and get the camera down in there. See the tip here? Cracked down there. I think it's got a drive from underneath. This is pushed up and a split right up here. And I don't know what I'm seeing there close enough, but you can see a slight cracking along there. So that sump is completely scrap. Now back across here. The three long gearbox bolts, 16 millimeter. Need to socket one spanner, would have done the rest, but socket to do the whole thing. I think it's 20, you need a 16 force, 20. 20 of these boys that actually hold the sump up to the bottom of the car. Um, let's see if I can get them up close enough here. 10 millimeter head, hexagon head, and inside you can see there's an Allen key insert. Um, I have used these. Uh, let me get the whole thing in front of the camera. It's got a ballpoint head which actually swivels from left to right, and it's good for taking out the four back screws on the sump. Also, uh, I'll take this 10 millimeter socket off. This a quarter drive with a, like a swivel type head too. Uh, got that a couple of years ago and I actually didn't use it till now. Uh, we'll go on to the car and we'll have a wee look um, where we're going to put our new sump on. Right, we're underneath. Um, I have cleaned along here. Used an old paint scraper. There was a wee few bits and pieces of silicon. Also making sure that the thread holds is clean. And this is the cast iron block right across here. Now there's one, two, three, there's four screws across the front I think. That's an aluminium housing. Now these here you don't want to over tighten them. Um, back here at the back, I'm trying to get the camera around. These back two some screws here. This is plastic. I think these are studs embedded in the plastic. Sometimes they're aluminium. Definitely don't over tighten these. Just sweeten them up because if you ring these here, that housing actually is the rear, rear crankshaft oil seal housing. If you split that, you're going to have a drip underneath your car. Um, 
keep it all clean uh, just check your strainer for the oil pump that's okay if it looks a bit grubby take two screws off take it out and clean it so I've cleaned that I'll show you what else I've used for cleaning that what I have used for cleaning on the side of the block this is a scotch brake pad uh, you get the same texture in some of the cheap household sponges you need that there but first of all take off the rough of the silicon sealer I just used an old paint scraper the edges worn off the bit stops it from scratching any like aluminium or the plastic use that first use the scotch braid and rag turn around some pre-wiped degreaser paint thinners will do any solvent give it a good clean as I say the underside of the block needs to be immaculately clean we don't want any foreign pieces of material getting into your engine um, after start up um, what else can I say here before we go and get a sump we'll have to go and do a little bit of shopping I'm going to get a sump um, I have to make sure it has the facility for this sensor so we'll go back in a wee while we'll go and get a new sump and we'll see what we can get up right we've got a new sump here um, it doesn't come with this low level oil switch so I have removed this one from the old sump uh, I'll give it a good clean I'll clean around the edges here uh, we'll turn it over I'm going to clean the, the this edge that goes up next to the bottom of the engine block there is no gasket on this, we use a gasket sealer uh, we'll give it a good clean, we'll play some sealer let it sit a few minutes and then we're going to put it up again the engine now, I'm we'll trying to focus on anything sump's not dear uh, it's not a genuine sump by no means there you have it £22 plus VAT, what's that? do do do, give on um, £22 plus fat, I bought myself a spanner bought myself a box of gloves and there's my total spend there, £34.80 something I want to show you before I put this actual sump on the car um, these are the two difficult screws to take out of the sump which sits in gearbox, the gearbox housing actually would be covered, these would be inside where the gearbox is uh, you really only have down through these four holes to get at these screws now if you look I have my allen key down through that hole and it's at an angle it sits further in and this is why you get down and you need this type of friend on your allen key so it can swivel a little bit inside the head of the stud so before you start this job you're going to need an allen key with this type of head to take these out an ordinary allen key will not work on there at a angle so I just thought I'd show you that before I put this sump on sailors on um, basically that's roughly what I was looking for to be honest I think there's a little bit too much here but we'll squeeze it on we'll let the car sit overnight before we put oil in it and that will be dry so we'll get ready we'll get underneath and we'll get this up onto the car right I have the engine filled with oil I've given the car a test run and I've checked right around the sump and all seems to be brilliant everything seems to be okay it wasn't that difficult a job to be honest a little bit of time uh, patience and minimum tools is required I'll uh, take a camera out here and I'll show you what tools roughly I used right 19 millimeter spanner for the sump plug uh, ratchet 16 millimeter socket spanner will do the three gearbox bolts 10 millimeter socket good long extension ratchet swivel head and most important these allen keys with the swivel type head you need them good quality gasket maker don't buy anything cheap At the end of the day you don't want to be getting it on the car again a screwdriver uh, scraper hammer piece of wood just for 
wreck on the seal on the old sump. Uh, Scotch Sprite or something like that or one of those cheap spuds with uh, rough material on them for cleaning in around the bottom of the engine block. You give it the clean. Also you will need white spirit, degreaser or something like that. Give it a clean before you're putting on the gasket maker. So if you like the video give me a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe. I'm going to do now a video in the next few weeks. I've bought a steel sump plate went on to this to protect the sub go to fit it go to re let's say review it just give me my remarks on it and we'll see how it goes but in the meantime take care bye bye adios